All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and I want to show you guys this new electronic speed control I picked up from LRP. Now, this is their famous Flow Works team. Now, this is on the high end of their one tenth scale brushless censored speed controls, and the famous part comes from the newest crowned world champion that would be Steven Hartson who just won the four-wheel drive buggy IFMAR world champion up in Chico, California earlier this year. Uh, I mean just a cool thing that the guy that just won the world champion I got his ESC sitting in front of me so pretty cool there. Um, let's go over some of the specs here of this thing. I have this slotted to go in my brand new Team Durango DETC410. Uh, that is their brand new 110 scale four wheel drive touring car. So uh, I have some other LRP electronics that I'll be putting in it as well. And let's uh, see some of the uh, items that come with this ESC. So, really quick, um, this is obviously a 110 scale um, electronic speed control. It is uh, designed for two wheel or four wheel drive and it is rated down to a 3.0 turn motor so pretty much you can throw anything at this speed control and it'll do just fine now this thing is rated at 400 amps which is just crazy talk and uh, you know definitely will help keep some of the uh, heat down with the heat sink right there and also the um, included fan. So let's take a look at the box here. Let's see some of the other things that um, what the box actually has. And don't worry about model numbers. I'll have that in the video description right down below. Uh, but this is 80970. So they do have a couple of different versions of this that are available. Their competition and then their high-end one here, the Works Team. This is definitely the one that all of the world champions use. So pretty cool. Um, other thing with this thing, you are able to uh, not only uh, update the uh, the firmware of this thing through uh, a separate little module USB bridge, uh, but you can also program it directly at the speed control. So no need to drag your laptop or any of that other stuff to the track. You can actually program it right here on these two uh, buttons. So pretty cool. There's a series of different LED lights and, you know, you can do it right then and there. So pretty cool. Uh, right down here, some of the champions that have actually used this, and I wanted to make a note here. Um, it, it's kind of funny. you got Ryan uh, Cavalier here, Ryan Mayfield, two famous guys out there, uh, definitely um, in the off-road industry. So uh, kind of funny pictures, but hey, looks like they were taken a while back. On the flip side here, just some more specs on the, the flow. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Let's see what we get inside the box here. We'll kind of go from there. So right inside, we're e immediately seeing that um, works team speed control. Kind of have it laying right inside here. Let's take this thing out. We'll cover this thing in just a little bit. And let's see the supplement package that is inside here. Let's hit this in the box. So you do get the included LRP fan, which looks like a standard like 30 millimeter size fan. You have a included um, sensor wire. It looks to be about 8 inches. Um, some zip ties, you got some servo tape, and of course the LRP stickers there, which blue is better. Uh, and then it looks like you got some owner's manual. You also have some black and white stickers right here that are kind of peeking underneath here, the LRP stickers. So pretty cool. Now let's look at this speed control. I mean, it definitely has some weight to it, but it is considerably small. I mean, if you guys can kind of imagine this, this is about a little over one inch by one inch. So very small, and you're looking at about uh, five-eighths of an inch tall. So a very small footprint uh, for this speed control that can handle, you know, some pretty serious uh, motors and uh, electronics out there. So you have all five wires that are kind of soldered onto these uh, kind of horizontal tabs right here. They look to be uh, copper tabs. They're just uh, pre-soldered in. You also got the uh, capacitor here that's going off of the battery wire. So looks to, to be um, red and black right here for the battery wires. And then it looks to be uh, blue, yellow, and orange. And that's my guesstimate, being colorblind, uh, for the wires going up to the motor. Got your external capacitor right there, which is nice to kind of keep it away from the heat. 
You do have a sensor port right here below. And on the flip side over here, you do have your fan port. You have a mode button, a set button, and also the LED lighting right there. Up top here, you got uh, four holes to be able to mount that included uh, 30 millimeter fan. And on the bottom side here, just a nice glossy surface to get that thing stuck right down to your vehicle. So nice aluminum design here. I mean, this thing is almost the whole entire case is aluminum. Looks like the bottom is a little bit of a plastic. That's basically it. So can't wait to get this thing uh, uh, kind of put in my DETC 410 from Team Durango. One other thing I wanted to show you guys, this right here is going to be the USB bridge, and you'll need this thing to update your firmware on um, any of the LRP controllers. So inside here, I picked this up as well. 81801 is the model number. Also in the video description will be a link. And inside here, you basically get a USB cord, which, you know, if anyone has a computer, you definitely have one of these things laying around, just a USB to mini USB right there. You also get a sensor wire, an additional one. I'll show you what that's here for a minute. And you also get this little kind of module that goes between a sensor wire uh, this time and a mini USB. So that's going to hook straight up to your sensor port on your ESC, which is very nice that you don't have to uh, deal with any kind of uh, receiver leads and things like that. So, um, But that's basically it. That's also this thing. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention that if you do plan to run an LRP motor, as I happen to have right here, this is the X20, uh, the 5.5 turn, with this particular speed control, you actually are able to unlock a couple of extra hidden features uh, as far as the ESC programming. So pretty cool feature there. I'm going to be doing a separate video on not only how to program it, but also how to update your firmware in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Well, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this little video of the LRP Flowworks Team Speed Control. If you have any questions, please post them on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.